everyone. Welcome to another uh, lecture of quantum mechanics. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, probability of finding a particle. Uh, we have already mentioned uh, in earlier cases where we discussed during the normalization lecture uh, of finding the particle over all space. Now we will find out in a limited region of space where we can, where, what is the probability of finding a particle in a given range. All right. So probability probability of finding the particle finding a particle finding a particle or more than one particle in a given region in a given region we'll discuss about single particle only all right single particle states so if you have been given psi square we have seen in continuous systems that if you have been given the distribution function okay just read this psi mod square as the distribution function right in in terms of mathematics all right so so if this is the distribution function or the probability density probability density all right or the pro we can we call it probability distribution function so if we have this kind of plot say this is the plot all right it could be anything right uh, just we are taking a distribution which looks like this this is x and there is a one dimensional distribution so if you want to find out the probability of finding the particle in a region which is given by x and x plus dx now dx is a very this is an infinitesimally small infinitesimally small line element right very very small all right compared to x so now this area this area represents this area represents the probability of finding probability of finding the particle in the range the particle in the range x and x plus dx all right so so what happens is like so next is that probability of finding the particle in the range if you write down this area of this rectangle there is a thin rectangle so if you write down this in mathematics mathematical terms probability now this was a geometric representation right now in mathematical equation if you write this probability of finding the particle in the range x and x plus dx now this is this can be written as psi mod square dx all right so this is how you find the area right this was the this is the this this quantity is the height of the rectangle this or this is the width width is the interval which is in fact is which is dx right so this is how we get the probability now probability of finding the particle between a finite region okay which is not very small it's over a uh, distance so if you write down probability probability of finding the particle finding the particle uh, in a finite range between 
x1 and x2 right so if we write down this thing so what will happen it will basically be an area which say if this is the say let's take an example of uh, another distribution let's take the same example so if this is the distribution so if you want to find out a particle from like the, the probability of finding the particle between this and this so what happens is you need to calculate the area between the thing the whole region this, this is the total probability this area right so how do we calculate the area under the curve we integrate right? of course right so we integrate so x1 x2 psi x mod x square dx right so we integrate to get the area right so this is how we calculate probability of finding the particle in a finite range between x1 x2 okay so you can apply in, in the, um, this concept to various problems okay so let, let's discuss a problem All right now uh, let's go through this question find the probability of finding the particle between l by 4 and 3l by 4 for the given wave function all right the wave function has been given uh, we'll learn about this wave function that this is a wave function of the ground state for a 1d potential uh, with length l okay let's not get into the details of the wave function we'll learn about it but in this case you don't need to know about the 1d potential it simply says that you have been given a wave function of a particle which is uh, lying between of the which which uh, the wave function is non zero between zero and l okay and uh, what is the probability of finding the particle between l by 4 and 3l by 4 okay this is the question so we just wrote it like this so we need solution is solution goes like this we need to calculate this quantity that l by 4 this is x1 this is x 3l by 4 right now this is given by what we do is we this is the lower limit this is the upper limit right and this is psi mod square dx now this psi is mod square mod square always be careful don't just square the function in this case we can simply square it because it's a real function in more if it's a complex one then we need to take the mod carefully right so in this case we'll lightly write it down it will psi square so we square this function okay we just write down that the coefficient will become 2 by l l by 4 3l by 4 now this is sine square pi x by l dx all right so if you want to integrate this thing so just take half outside and multiply just this is a trigonometric function which already you should know so this is 2 sine square pi x by l dx now just get rid of this 2 sorry get rid of this 2 so what happens is this uh, this converts to this l by 4 3 l by 4 this converts to 1 minus cos 2 pi x by l right so further calculating I'm making a mistake here every time in writing down the l so uh, if we uh, write, integrate the first term that is x right now the second term is l by 2 pi and sine 2 pi x by l uh, so this limit is lower limit is l by 4 upper limit is 3 l by 4 okay so carefully do the calculation uh, don't hurry up let's represent this by i okay so this is the integration which we have is 1 by l now this integration if you put the upper limit and lower limit say for this one 3 l by 4 minus l by 4 minus l by 2 pi sine 2 pi x by l okay instead of this we let's write down this thing that this is uh, instead of x let's put it put l by 4 okay i didn't forgot to put it just let it be there like this so now this one let's put it here this is be 3 l by 4 or and this will be 2 pi this instead of x will write l by 4 right this is a complete integration and so what we have here is 2 l by 4 by 4 this is l by 2 minus now if we do this cal this thing this calculation 
what happens is uh, you have l l by 2 pi common from both so what we have inside is this is sine if you write if you see that uh, calculation that this gets cancelled it becomes 2 and so we have 3 pi by 2 minus sine pi by 2 right let's complete the bracket now l gets cancelled so what we have this thing minus there is 1 by pi okay now let's calculate this carefully this is sine pi plus pi by 2 minus this is minus 1 okay so what do we have this is, this becomes this is sine pi so sine this gives you a uh, sine and this is a negative sine sine is negative in this quadrant so this is 1 so what you get is finally this is minus 1 this is minus 1 this becomes 1 by 2 minus this becomes plus so so this is the uh, result you have here okay there was 2 here also right I forgot to mention this thing 2 here so this will be 2 and this cancels out so this will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 so this is the answer okay so the probability of finding the particle which has this wave function or it is, is in this state uh, in, in this line in 1D box uh, between L by 4 and 3L by 4 is this. You don't need to remem remember it. This is the main thing which we want to do. This is the main step. And rest is mathematics. In this problem, uh, we did not normalize the wave function. I've already discussed about this thing that we need to always see that whether the wave function, given wave function is normalized or not in that given region. This is the first step in solving any problem regarding probability. All right. Uh, if it's not normalized, we need to normalize it. We have since I had already discussed this wave function earlier, so I didn't uh, normalize it. Okay, uh, you can see earlier lecture. I'll link it in the uh, um, information section. Okay, so uh, in this, we directly use this uh, wave function and use uh, solve the problem. All right. So make sure that you check for the normalization of this wave function. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. You, if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends